Around the world, people are mourning the loss of Kofi Annan tonight. The former UN Secretary General and peacekeeper was 80 years old. His career featured numerous accomplishments, including a Nobel Peace Prize in 2001. Gordon Severson explains how those at McAllister College are remembering him tonight. He was the most famous and in some ways the most powerful embodiment of the mission of the college. Many know the man who stood as a symbol of diplomacy and peace, but few know the student whose humble beginnings started right here at McAllister College. He loved Minnesota and he loved McAllister. College President Brian Rosenberg says Kofi Annan moved from Ghana to Minnesota in 1959 to study economics. A devoted academic, but also an athlete who broke the school record in the 60 yard dash. He also competed in soccer, speech and debate, and was was a ping pong champion. After graduating in 1961, he quickly made his mark in international politics, going on to lead the United Nations as Secretary General from 1997 to 2006. I will always remember Kofi Annan as someone who always believed in the possibility of positive change. Despite rubbing elbows with the world's elite. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Rosenberg says the man treated everyone the same, valuing human dignity and respect above all else. The last time Annan was here on campus was back in May, and that's when the college named this building after him, the Kofi Annan Institute for Global Citizenship, so that students not only understand the impact he had here on campus, but for the rest of the world as well. The college is also remembering Annan with these flowers placed on a bench outside the building, along with flags flying at half staff. But Rosenberg says a more significant tribute will likely come later this year, honoring a man who witnessed history's darkest hours, but always believed in a brighter tomorrow. But let us not dwell on the divisions of the past. Let us confront the realities of the present, however harsh, and look for ways to forge stronger unity in the future. Annan died this morning in Switzerland. According to a tweet sent out by his foundation, family members say he died from a short, unspecified illness. Politics